Hey everyone, it's Grady from Sub Overland, and uh, in this video I'll be taking you around at the Mountain West Overland Expo. But let's get right into it. So here's our booth. Um, this is the first time I've been to the Mountain West Expo and uh, <clears throat> we have the typical Suburban. So we've got our oh, 05, I believe, uh, Suburban. That's our Expo rig. You've seen this one in a bunch of videos. And then uh, this time around we brought a little trailer. Now if you've seen, if you've been watching the channel, you've seen something like this, you know, in the past. but we are offering these again and so you can you can see them on our website but um, there'll be more details to come but yeah this we're gonna have this we're pretty excited to uh, offer these to our clients and I will mention so this is a Thursday that we just showed up so there's not like a lot going on but I thought I'd give a you know a quick little walk around and uh, I don't think I'll have time to do many videos here because we'll be at the booth but so we again uh, you know what not a lot going on we're just kind of we got here and it took like I don't know our booth isn't very fancy so it didn't take us long to uh, set up but uh, you know a bunch of people just kind of relaxing right now and uh, we're gonna go yeah there's like happy hour tonight and things like that okay so here is looks like there's like Mercedes getting all set up we've got like forklifts and all their vans, these things look sweet. And then I think over there, we've got like all the food and everything. So it looks like over there we've got like, I'm not super familiar with the Rivion, but that one's not a truck. So that one's like an SUV. I don't know if it's something special, I'll have to look it up, but it looks pretty sweet. And then over there, here's some more Rivion stuff. Then over here we've got like GMC has their, you know, all their trucks lined up. Uh, we've got the electric Hummer. So here's the electric Hummer. I'm sure you guys are familiar with this. I think they're pretty cool. It's got this giant tent on top too. But yeah, so here's the Hummer. And then they've also got like a bunch of their other rigs. So Colorado, or sorry, Jim C. Canyon. It's a bunch of cool stuff here. And then some more canyons. So it looks like GMC is yeah, sponsoring this. And there's your Rivion. And we've got a Earth Roamer. I don't know if this is going to be like, usually they have like a huge booth and it's Colorado, so. I'm sure there's going to be a bunch of these here, but, um, yeah, this thing, they're cool. Definitely different than what we do. It's a sweet rig. I know nothing about this, so you guys can comment below if you know. It says Mule on the front. I don't know if that's the brand or anything, but this thing's big, and, yeah. So here is the uh, weekend pass with camping. So if you're just, if you're attending the event, you can get the weekend pass. And yeah, here's where you know you camp when you're at the uh, Mountain West. Uh, I was at the one in Flagstaff, and I feel like the campsites were pretty far away from the actual like event. So we had bikes and stuff. I mean, bikes would be great. But as you can see, those here, here, here's all the camping, and then that's the event. And so, like, really close, which is I think is pretty sweet. Um, just this open, you know, area where everyone is. A sweet old uh, 
Grand Wagoneer. These things are awesome. I've actually never had one, but you know, someday there's still time. But yeah, that's just a big old tires. Speaking of big tires, look at this Ford truck. That is a very custom truck. A lot, a lot of tire going on there. Hey everyone, uh, yeah, so it's uh, Thursday, Friday morning, first day of the show, and we just set up everything here, so we'll be starting the show, but I'll, throughout the day, I'll periodically just be doing some stuff like this, so, um, but yeah, cool show, again, this is Mountain West, so it's in Colorado, but uh, yeah, stay tuned. So here's our setup, we've got, you know, some signage this time, last time we just kind of... I wasn't even there at the last show, but we, uh, anyway, weren't as prepared. And really, if you look around, we're pretty, uh, I don't know. Let me know in the comments if you guys like our booth or not. But <laughs> definitely room for improvement if we ever do this again. But, uh, yeah, so we've got all of this stuff here. Again, we're close. If you guys are coming, um, cool. If you ever want to come to one of these shows, they're pretty sweet. Uh, the Mountain West, there's camping that's really close, which I thought was cool versus some of the other ones I've been to. But uh, yeah, here we are. So Miles, how has the show been so far? Oh man, dude, they call me the closer. They call Miles the closer. <laughs> <laughs> it's been pretty good, huh? Yeah, it has. We've been busy. I'm We've been tired. busy, dude. I. I sit down for like two minutes, maybe max, before somebody else comes. And look at this guy, he's in a boot. What a... Dude, talk about a good friend. What a great friend. <laughs> yeah, solid, solid friend. So it's here, it's day one, Friday. Um, oh, I think it's like two o'clock, so busy. It's been really good. I mean, we'll see the, when everything happens, you know, if we sell anything, but this has been great. Um, lots of good people. You know, meet some awesome people here. So, but anyway, yeah. So this is our booth behind me. Uh, just great, great being here. Good weather. We got two more days of this, so pretty excited for it. Here with uh, Braxton. And what was your what was your page again on YouTube? It's called Welcome to the Outdoors. Welcome to the Outdoors. I just checked it out. It's really awesome work. And these guys, I was just talking with one of his buddies. They're planning like a Pan American trip, right? Yes, yeah, in 2024. 2024. So yeah, if you start subscribe or you know sub now. And then they're doing this epic trip pretty soon, but yeah, so check out the channel. So third day at the show here, this is a Sunday, so Sunday morning. We're pretty tired, but uh, it's been really fun. So um, today's eight to three, and then we're gonna take off and drive to Idaho, but um, I'm going to try to get a little more walk around stuff of the actual show. I haven't really seen much at all, so I uh, hope you guys enjoy it. I was walking around yesterday and I saw this thing, so I thought I'd give a quick little tour of it. I thought it was way cool. But yeah, this is just an 80 series cruiser, and it's on 37s it looks like. But way cool rig. I don't think I ever posted anything to the YouTube when I had my 80 series, but I've had a couple of these over the years. And just because I like Suburbans doesn't mean Toyota is not a great, awesome rig. Of course they are. But, um, yeah, this thing's cool. I like the, uh, <clears throat> how they did, you know, the pinstriping and everything. It's pretty sweet. But, yeah, I saw this yesterday and I was like, little walk around of it but I thought that thing was cool all right so I'm here at Boreas campers with someone that is camera shy who will not be named <laughs> but uh, this is the EOS 12 it looks like mm -hmm. and this thing is sweet it has a lot going for it what do we got, we got here a full stainless kitchen uh, you got hot and cold water here uh, you got a 15,000 BTU Furion uh, you got your pass-through pantry here 
full lighting. You got some outdoor Garmin Fusion speakers. We got a uh, 96 oh, liter okay. uh, dual fridge freezer. Uh, this is on uh, AccuRide slide, so this goes in and out. So everything both inside and outside of the camper. So we got full uh, vacuum sealed acrylic windows. We're running a Cruise Master suspension on airbags with uh, auto level. <laughs> all right, so you have a live update on uh, all the systems in the camper. Uh, looks like we got 100% battery, half of uh, the fresh water tank. Tells you your gray water, you can turn on all the lights, everything dims as well. You got your uh, heater and AC functions, all your water, and then in here uh, we have the uh, suspension adjustments. Uh, you can do this from the tow vehicle. And so if you need to make any adjustments, if you want to raise it up and go over a stream crossing or bring it down for towing or putting it in your garage, then you can definitely do that all wirelessly. Okay, we're going to head on inside now. Guys. Okay, so it's the back. standing room. Inside, you can sleep up to four. So like I was talking about, we have the queen mattress here. This is on gas struts, so when you lift it up, it can access all your storage as well as the fridge freezer when it's slid in here. Wow. Yep, this is a telescoping table. So when the table comes down, these uh, magnetic cushions come in and they fill the void and you can sleep two people here as well as okay. two people on the bed. Gotcha. You got all your storage over here. All these zip down for airflow as well. On this unit, we have a 12 volt AC, so we can uh, run the AC okay. completely off grid, only on the battery. You don't need a generator. And then over here, we have the full stainless uh, shower and cassette toilet as well. A little pan in here. All this is running on a Truma Combi, so you'll have hot water. Wow. In any weather. So we're here, um, kind of in the middle of the area, so like the middle of the um, show is over there. This is like, I think this is the Benz, Mercedes Benz section. Um, obviously a bunch of Mercedes, a bunch of Sprinter vans. They're all kitted out. I might go check those out actually. Okay, so I'm back at the Sprinter. So these are cool because they're, I mean, obviously so tall. It's a huge advantage. But, uh, looks like I have like a cool cubby system. Outdoor shower. Put your bike in here. Yeah, but, yeah, there's just a lot of good stuff. This one's really simple. So it looks like we've got like platform. And I say really simple, but I mean, so it's got, uh, platform back here and then you sleep up top obviously with like the cubbies and then the front it looks like it's a passenger so up front we've got sink fridge and all that um, a jump seat but I don't know if it has a seatbelt or not so it's probably just a two passenger swivel seat which is so nice swivel seats are great um, and then that so I mean Looks like they do some cool woodwork. Uh, I haven't seen a ton of woodwork, so it's nice to see something like that. Yeah, so that was cool. I really liked, you know, the design and everything of that thing. Um, just, yeah, that's probably, I don't know, I guess around 200 grand, or something like that. So it's really just depending on what you want, how much you want to spend and everything, especially at this show. Uh, again, I think I mentioned it before, but this show, you know, there's, there's some really high dollar things. So we definitely stand out a little bit. Maybe that's good and bad, I don't know. But it's, it, it's fun to just see everyone else's you know, stuff and ideas and get a lot of ideas from it. Because I am starting to do, um, we're, we're taking on some van build stuff. So if you guys have any vans of your own or want to bring us your van, we'd uh, love to build them out. And so it's good to get all these ideas. Okay, and then this is a Rivion. I'm sure you guys are familiar with these. Um, I've only seen the truck in person, so this is like the first SUV I've seen. So, don't know a ton about it, but I think they look absolutely cool. 
Um, I'm sure they have millions and millions of features that I just have no idea, but looks like they've got, you know, they've like a Dometic fridge and everything, and I'm assuming that's just running off, you know, the, the battery system of the car, which is really cool. Um, but this, this is at the Dometic booth. Um, we use Dometic stuff. We've always loved it. In the front here, you've got your, like, your front hood, your front place where you can get everything. And then a lot of Dometic stuff, but yeah, this Rivian is sweet. Craig from The Excursioners. Hey, everybody. Tell us about your uh, YouTube channel. Yeah, so I have a YouTube channel. It's called The Excursioners. Uh, it's me and my family. We work on the truck and we go camping. Uh, we're trying to inspire other families to get out there and get after it. And he's got a 2000 excursion, so it's the Suburban's bigger brother, but equally as cool. Just by like cool. three inches. Just by three Equ inches. Equally as cool. Equally as <laughs> cool. But yeah, check out his stuff. I'll leave a link in the uh, video description below. Sunday again, and closing up shop here pretty soon. Really, really cool show. Talked to a lot of people. So if you guys are ever at one of these expos, definitely recommend it. It's pretty fun. Uh, a lot of stuff to see, so it can be pretty busy. But uh, thanks for watching, and if you haven't subscribed yet, please do. We'd we'll love to have you on the journey, and until uh, next time.